everyone, it is Danielle and I am back. And today the experiment we're gonna do deals with colors. We did an experiment once before when we figured out how colors were made. If you haven't seen that one, go ahead and click this link to check it out. Today, the experiment, we're going to take two colors and we're gonna look through them at the same time and we're gonna see something pretty unique. Are you ready? Let's get started. To begin, you're gonna take an empty glass and you're gonna fill it about three quarters of the way full with water. Then you're gonna take some blue food coloring and you're going to squirt a few drops into the glass of water. You're gonna use a spoon to mix the food coloring completely in. Now you're gonna set this glass aside. Now you're going to prepare your second container of water. And for this one, you're gonna need a large container of water and you're gonna use some yellow food coloring and squirt it into the, the water. And then you're gonna take your spoon and mix the yellow food coloring in. Now we're gonna set that container to the side. For the next step, you are going to need a large, clear bowl. And the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take the glass with the blue water in it and you're gonna set it in the middle of the bowl. The next step is to can take your pitcher of water and you're going to fill the bowl around the glass with the yellow water. Be careful not to get any of the yellow water into the glass itself. Now, you're gonna to wanna to look into the side of the bowl about right here. Let's take a closer look. As you look into the side of the bowl, you can see the blue liquid that we initially put into the glass. You can see the yellow liquid that we put into the bowl. But why is this liquid green? Can you tell me, why does the water in the glass appear to be green when we look through the side of the bowl, even though you know we put blue water inside of the glass? If you think you know the answer, leave a comment below. Then visit CoolScienceExperimentsHeadquarters.com to find out the answer. You'll be able to print out instructions for this experiment, and you'll find many more experiments that you can do at home too. Thanks for watching everyone, and we'll see you next time. I hope you enjoyed the experiment. Click the button to subscribe.